Uh, good afternoon. Um, thank you for coming. My name is Paul. I work for UB Tech. Um, if you go out right now to the street talking to people about AI or artificial intelligence, most likely people will be confused. They don't know much about artificial intelligence. However, if you ask them about robots, people's light, eye will light up. They will start talking about their understanding of robots, maybe from movie or from books, but they all have an idea about robots. That is a very telling story. At UB Tech, we have a strong belief that robot is the future for AI. AI is a great, great technology. Like all good technologies, they need a carrier to showcase the capabilities. And we believe robots, especially humanoid robots, are the best carrier for the AI technology. Give a little bit of background about the company I work for. The company really started as a research project on the, on the joints, if you would, and the servos, the servo motors. Uh, servo motors are not a new thing, but it's been there for a while, but it's very, very expensive. Through our innovation and our hard working, we'll be able to bring the servo cost down to the level where we can bring robots into everybody's home. Um, we officially started a company at 12, uh, 2012, and ever since that, the company has been growing very, very fast. As you can see from revenue point of view, from investment point of view, and we have been growing very, very fast. And the last year, we reached over 200 mil million revenues with a capitalization of over 1 billion US dollars. Our product consists of a couple of things. One is the GMO products, which is more of educational products where you can build, you can program, you can share what you build with a consumer, with your uh, social network. And this product you can see in the, is Apple. We have partnership with Apple Store, and this product you can buy in Apple. We also, from, from that point, we also start moving, working on the humanoid robots, starting with Alpha 1 and Alpha 2. And uh, those are all the first two robots using the servo technology a couple years ago. We're also having a partnership with uh, Amazon and Alexa, using Alexa, which will come out in the next couple of months. In addition to the 2C business, we're also working with business, uh, working on 2B business, and help business to solve their problems. So this is the video you just saw. It's uh, Alexa-based uh, robot that's we're coming out soon in the U.S. market. Working, it's, it's a partnership with Amazon. We announced this product early this year in the CES. I mentioned the GMO product, uh, partnering with Apple. Uh, actually, this last month or so, in the Worldwide Developers Conference, Apple announced a new initiatives to put GMO into developers' hand with kids in the Apple Store. I give you, I'm going to show you a video again to see how the GMO works. Welcome to GMO, where you can build and program small <coughs> robots and share them with your friends. Follow the GMO app's cool 3D instructions to build BuzzBot, and then take them apart and build MuttBot or any robot in GMO world. He moves just like a human, and you control him. Program his movements in the GMU app and get smarter as you code. Create your own GMU world. Smart robots, smarter kids. So what are the trends for the humanoid robots? Where are the development focus going forward? What do we can see in the future? Um, we believe there are three areas that will continue to develop for humanoid, humanoid uh, robots. One is the machine-people interaction. As in the past, you started from PC, and these days, coming from a cell phone, the interaction between human and the machine has been growing from hand, eyes, 
to the cell phone now, you, are, you speak to it. But we believe for a robot, at the end of the day, it will be full scale, all dimension of interaction. So this is con going to continue to be the development of a train for the AI and robots. That's a one, one trend that a lot of people working on that continues the sense and the, the inter interactive on that. The second trend is in, in for robots is in addition to the AI, which was the weak AI to continue until strong AI, all the, all the AI work, there's a big trend on the motion control. As you know, robots is something moves. It, 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 uh, it's like act like human from time to time. So the movement is very important. It has to be real. So that development will be very, very important from basic moving, moving control to the area where robots can actually do a lot better than, than person. You already see a robot can run fast, see better in the dark, dark, dark night, hear better, and sense or have all the sense. So in that, sense, in that area, robot action do, can do a lot better than human being. So for those, these two areas we see are the trends moving forward for robots. The third area we think is going to be continue uh, as the way robots develops is the data. We talk about all the data, uh, how big data is changing our life, how important the data is. And robots is a little bit different in that sense compared with your cell phone collecting data. Robot is part of your life. Robots actively collecting data versus passively getting data from users. Robots interact with you and see you, they understand you, they care about you as a wave vision. So it's a part of an integrate, integrated part of your life. And those data are much more valuable um, than the data you can get from your cell phone. So we believe that's also going to be help us with those data, we can help us train the engine, the AI engine, and serve the, our customer much, much better. So those are the three areas we think is continue going to develop for, for the robots industry. So you ask what UB Tech are doing to prepare us for the next generation. So a couple of things. One thing is we truly believe robots at ultimately will be become truly a part of your family. Think about a family member. There's also character. There's characters describe a family member. They care about you. You trust each other. They understand. And you have an open relationship. Robot is the only, we see only um, candidates that can do that. When, when the AI develops, when we'll be able to uh, build better and better robots. You see, I, people talk a lot about IoT stuff. And these days, AI are being integrated into a lot of speakers. Many, many companies are doing this. However, we truly believe these are the middle point. At the end of the day, robots will be a full member of your family and really can help you on many, many things, caring about you, take your kids, and caring about old, older people. Those are the future we envision. To realize this vision, vision UB Tech is doing a couple of things. We talk about the two core things of our robots, the motion control and the AI. On the motion control side, We've been doing, this is our core. We've been doing a server model for many, many years. Starting from smaller mode, smaller servo to all the way to bigger. Smaller ones being used in your fingers, control your fingers, your toes, and the bigger ones to control your legs movement, your waist. I'm going to show you another video to uh, show you how server model works. This is something we worked three years ago. It's kind of old, and in this time, three years pretty old now. So this show you how exactly a servo motor is working and to control a people's movement. 
we make it open so, so you can see how exactly that's controlled. This is only a uh, six motor, a uh, six servo motors. And uh, these days, our, our even smallest, uh, smallest uh, robots have 20 degree of freedoms. So this is very rudimentary. This is kind of old, but it shows us very well on how, how things work inside. Uh, this is our server side. On the other side is AI side, uh, which we're going to continue to develop and invest on it. On the AI side, in addition to you know, the natural language, NLU, NLP, the, the voice part, we're also heavily invested on the vision part. Robots coming to your house, they need to see you. They need to understand your house. And they need to walk around in your house. So those are very key part of um, artificial intelligence important for robots. So we invest on that. And also doing, a, as I mentioned, motion control. A robot need to walk like a person and need to plan his route inside the house. Uh, all those things, we are working on that. We are in continuing investing, including motion. Emotion, they need to understand you. So in addition to our own R&D and development, we also have a partnership with global companies. Like I mentioned, Amazon, we are working this project was, uh, was uh, uh, announced in CES this year, and we're coming up uh, we're to the Amazon store uh, in the next two months. We also have, I mentioned Gmo with Apple. We have partnership with Apple and uh, are doing education market and pro help kids programming and share their ideas in addition to just make things. We also have a local company in China, Tencent, We just lost. Two weeks ago, we announced a robot uh, using uh, Tencent technology and a partnership with co-brand product local for the China market. The other things we're working on is IP. We have Disney, we have signed a contract with Disney to turn all their IP characters into robots. Uh, on the pro on, this is on the product side. On the research side, we have working with top universities and, uh, uh, to do all the AI research. I mentioned in the previous slide, in addition to the 2C business, we also have help a business to solve their problem. So for that, allow me to show you a quick video um, on that as well. We Cruiser, a cloud-based intelligent humanoid robot. A transportation hubs, Cruiser is an intelligent crew member. At Banks, Cruiser is an intelligent lobby manager. Cruiser supports multi-site video conferencing. At Exhibitions, Cruiser is an intelligent and informative guide. At Shopping Malls, Cruiser is an intelligent shopping guide and entertainer. At Automobile Dealerships, Cruiser is an intelligent sales representative. With one command, you can make multiple cruisers monitor and patrol simultaneously. With the open API, Cruiser can be customized to intelligently serve in various scenarios. Intelligent service without limits. As you can see, um, the robot combined with strong AI can really solve so many problems around, around your house, around the business, and we are firmly believe there's a great, great future for us. And we also believe, as a company, we're going to continue to grow very, very fast for the next couple of years. From by helping uh, customers solve their problems, our company will be very successful both in sales as well as technology investment. That's all I have to say. And uh, um, I hope you enjoyed the evening or enjoyed this afternoon. And uh, thank you for coming.